So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys copy and paste methods that you guys could use to make money drop servicing for free without using any of your money. What is up YouTube, it's your boy Jay Rich back at it with another video and if you like making money, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how you can make money drop servicing, but at first I want to explain very briefly what drop servicing is. I know it sounds a little bit like drop shipping, but drop shipping is basically becoming the middleman, leveraging other suppliers to sell products online. Well, drop servicing has also become the middleman, but you're leveraging other people to sell different services online. So for example, let's just say your drop servicing niche is a service editing videos. So what you would do is you'll find somebody that actually needs a video to be edited like a YouTuber. And then let's say they pay you $100 for you to edit the video. You then pay somebody else $50 to edit that video. Then you'll profit the $50 difference. So this could be an excellent business model because you could potentially sell a bunch of services, make money without virtually doing anything because you're leveraging other people to do those services for you. So I'm going to teach you guys a strategy that you can basically copy and paste to potentially make money drop servicing. So the example for this drop servicing niche is going to be video editing. So without further ado, let's get into it. First things first is your drop servicing niche is video editing, which I'm doing for this example. The first thing you need to do is you need to find YouTubers to contact. And the method to do that is to go on YouTube, search up whatever you know niche related content that you want to look up to find YouTubers based on that content. And for this example, I searched up starting a business. And for you know this example, it's going to pull up a bunch of business related content and a bunch of these you know YouTubers that uploaded these videos that is on the search they're creating business content and they're in the business niche. So of course, you know, there's tons of topic on YouTube. So there's a topic for every single thing on this planet. So you could, you know, whatever, you know, topic that you want to search for, just do a search based on that topic and it'll pull up a bunch of videos and YouTubers that make that kind of content for the YouTube videos. So for this example, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just, just choose the first video that pops up, which is this one right here, 12 most profitable business ideas to start in 2020. Now, as you can see, this YouTuber has over 400,000 subscribers and how you can, you know, get their information and the email address to contact them is you need to click their YouTube profile right here and then you need to go to about and then scroll down for business inquiries and then it says view email address. And then you of course need to verify that you're not a robot. Once you do that, you'll hit submit and it shows their business email address. So what I usually like to do for, you know, getting a bunch of YouTubers and YouTube influencers is I like to have a spreadsheet open so that I could keep things organized. So what I do is on the spreadsheet, let me just open another tab. This is the example spreadsheet for YouTubers. I have their name and their email address. So what this does, it keeps things organized for when I you know, go to contact the YouTubers, everything is organized and it makes you know, your life a lot easier because everything is on this spreadsheet. So what you need to do is copy and paste their email address onto the spreadsheet and then copy their name as well. And then once you're done with that, you just continue on with the next YouTuber. So the cool thing is that whenever you're on, you know, a video, YouTube recommends a lot of related videos related to, you know, whatever video that you're on. So on the right hand side, you'll see a bunch of related videos. So what you can do is literally for each YouTuber, you could open up another tab, open up another tab, open another tab, and literally repeat this exact same process, basically until you have a huge list of YouTubers to contact. So a few things that I do want to know, obviously, you know, when you, when you're dealing with bigger YouTubers that have, you know, over 500,000 subscribers and, you know, even 400,000 subscribers, like for example, like this YouTuber that I'm on right now, when you're dealing with those kind of YouTubers, potentially they're not going to be interested in probably having a video editor because they probably already have the video editor if they're, you know, because if you have a bunch of subscribers, you take YouTube pretty, pretty seriously. So, you potentially already have a video editor. So keep that in mind when, you know, contacting the big, big YouTubers. So what I usually want to recommend is that you target, you know, smaller YouTubers. So, you know, under hundred K or anything in that area. I didn't get a video editor until I reached like 120,000 subscribers. So anything, you know, hundred K or below, you potentially have a higher chance to be able to edit that YouTubers videos because you know, they're just starting off, they're growing and potentially they're already, they're editing videos themselves. So they'll be interested in 
having a video editor to edit videos for them as they continue to grow even larger and larger. And it's really, really cool because you'll grow with them. You know, if they continue to use you for video editing and they grow to, you know, 500,000 subscribers and you've been with them since they were below 100, that is really, really good for you. And also you'll be able to, you know, use that as your, you know, showcase your work on what YouTubers that you work with and stuff like that. So yeah, I usually recommend that you go for the smaller YouTubers under 100K. So for example, this is a really perfect example. So this YouTuber, she is right below 100K subscribers. So what you would do is you could copy her name, Jessica, paste that onto the spreadsheet. So what you would do is you'll copy her name, so Jessica, and then just like I said, you'll click her YouTube profile. Then you go to about and see if she has the email address on there. Perfect. Then you go to for business requires a few email address, you confirm that you're not a robot, then hit submit, and then copy the email address onto the spreadsheet. Do that and repeat that from all the YouTubers that you find, just repeat that same process until you have a bunch of YouTubers to contact that is on this spreadsheet. So literally, you know, review, you will go to the video, go to a bunch of related videos, go to each YouTuber that made those videos, and then just repeat that process. And then you can also go back to the search and then restart as well from a different YouTuber. So you could start with this one, then you could find a bunch of related videos related to this one. Then you could go back and start with this one and find a bunch of related you know, YouTubers that are making content related to this. And literally, like I said, this is just one topic. This is business topic on YouTube. And there's tons of other topics as well that you guys could search and potentially get YouTubers from. But like I said, after you're done, you know, finding the YouTubers, make sure that you definitely enter their name and email onto a spreadsheet so that you could organize the YouTubers before you contact them. So the next step is we're gonna contact the YouTubers. I'm gonna actually show you guys a pitch and you know what you can copy and paste to contact the YouTubers yourself. So see you guys in the next step. So the next step, hypothetically speaking, let's say you have a huge list of influencers and you know you went on YouTube, you, you know got their name, you got their emails, and you have a huge list of YouTubers to contact. Then the next step will be to copy and paste this pitch to contact the YouTubers. So this is an email pitch that I wrote out that you can send out to each YouTuber to potentially have them pay you to edit the videos. So it's really, really simple and straightforward. Of course, these brackets right here are what you need to fill out at whatever applies to you. So for example, right here, YouTuber name, whatever YouTuber that you're contacting, you enter that there. And of course, at the bottom, you enter your name here. So it's really, really simple and straightforward. Basically just says, hello, I just say PewDiePie, who is like the biggest YouTuber out right now, I believe. So hello, PewDiePie. I've been watching your videos for a while now, and I wanna thank you for the awesome content that you consistently upload. I'm sure that you don't have a lot of free time, and I wanna help you with that. I'm a video editor, and I wanna ask you if you need any video editing for your videos. I will edit the first video for 50% off so that you can see what I am capable of. And then below I have the benefits of having editor, which are very, very important. And uh, so the benefits of having editor, number one, you get a lot of time back and time equals the most valuable asset. Number two, you can now focus on other businesses, hobbies, etc. And number three, take the pressure off your chest. Just keep filming and I'll handle the editing. And then lastly, let me know if you're interested. Best, your name. So as you can see, very simple and straightforward. The most important part of the email is having the benefits of having editor out there so that the YouTuber can resonate with you because I'm a YouTuber myself and I know that editing videos takes a lot of time. So once you can outsource that and have someone do that for you, it takes a lot of pressure off your chest. You're able to save a ton of time. You can spend that extra time on other businesses, other hobbies, and you know, it makes everything so much easier and takes the stress off of you know, making YouTube videos because you know, some editing you know, jobs that I've done for my videos, I've taken like six to eight hours to edit like one 10 minute video. So super, super, super time consuming. And this is a reason why you know, this could be a huge drop servicing niche for a lot of people to get into. So the next step is super, super important. It's how you get a video editor to actually edit the video for your YouTuber. So in the email, you gave the YouTuber 50% off. So for example, let's say you normally charge $100 and you gave the YouTuber 50% off, so he paid you $50 for the video to be edited. So then what you need to do is you need to head to fiverr.com. And what you need to do, this is the homepage, you need to look up video editing. And when you search that up, you'll see a bunch of different video editing suppliers on Fiverr. And the price varies dramatically amongst different sellers. And there's a ton of different sellers offering video editing. Now, what I recommend is that 
you know, you do your own due diligence and your own research and you look at each of these suppliers and look at the reviews of each of these suppliers. So, you know, the number one thing is you definitely need to be at profit. So for example, if you charge normally $100 and you gave your client 50% off and you got $50 to edit the video, you need to find something that is below $50 because that is what you're gonna profit. So this one is $20, as you can see $90, you will be losing money. $35, you'll walk away with like $15 profit. $20, you walk away with $30 profit, which is pretty good, obviously, for the first video. So let's look at that supplier. So he has 92 reviews, and take a look at his reviews, and as you can see, a bunch of five-star reviews from different clients. So let's look at his order details. So as you can see, he doesn't really have his order details very precise. He just asks you to contact him first and then talk about the project. So this could, the price could vary, you know, depending on how long the video is or anything like that. So let's go back and look at a different supplier. So this one is $35. And let's look at what he's offering for $35. So for $35, he's offering up to 15 minutes of footage. And if we look at another seller, this one's $30 with nine reviews. And he's also asking to contact him first for the offer. So as you can see, there's a bunch of different suppliers for video editing services on Fiverr. And pretty much any other drop servicing niche, there's gonna be a lot of sellers on Fiverr selling that service. What I personally recommend is that you create an account on Fiverr, then you know contact a bunch of different suppliers of whatever drop servicing niche that you wanna get into. So if it's you know video editing, service then you'll you know contact a bunch of these suppliers for video editing services and then what you'll do is you'll tell them you know your requirements so let's say you know the youtuber that pays you fifty dollars has a 30 minute video that needs to be edited well then contact a bunch of them tell them that you have a 30 minute video that needs to be edited and then basically have like a bid price so like pick the one that is the cheapest in combination of you know good reviews of the seller and then use them and then profit the difference of whatever you paid them. So make sure, of course, that whatever you're paying them is less than what you got paid from your client, which is a YouTuber. So other than that, that's pretty much it. This is a really, really easy and simple business model. And for that reason, it's one of the most trending business models along with drop shipping. Another thing that I do wanna know is that when you get your first YouTuber client, that you put an example on your email pitch. And what this does is it gives other potential YouTubers that you're trying to pitch to, it gives them an example to look at to see your work firsthand, to see what they're, you know, they're getting and you're capable of. And then work around around this because at first, you know, obviously when you first start off, you don't have any examples to give to a YouTuber. A quick you know, tip and a workaround around this is to go to Fiverr or whatever freelance site that you're getting your video editing service from. And for this example, let's say you find a supplier that is doing your video editing. What you can do is use the videos that he has for his example and then include that in your email pitch to have YouTubers look at when you know looking at examples of the videos that you got edited. So that is the video, you guys. I hope you guys got some insane value from it. I also hope that you guys have some ideas on how to make money drop servicing without using any of your money. If you guys are new to the channel before I close out each video, I always end it with an inspirational quote. And today's quote is results happen over time, not overnight. So work hard, stay consistent, and be patient. And until then, my friends, be great.